Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Juice Fier, and today I will be showing you how to make a welcome subtitle. You could use these welcome subtitles to welcome people who join your rooms, or if somebody joins into like say a workshop, you could tell them what to do. So I have one pre-made behind me, so I'm just going to go step by step and show you guys how to make it. Here is what the after results is going to look like. Pretty simple, pretty basic. So enjoy this basic guide to how to make this. First, let's go over what we're going to need for this. To make this, you will need 7 ships. Starting off with the first one, you will need an event receiver. If you guys don't know how to find circuits, just click the search bar right there and search up your thing. So let's do it. Let's click search and search up event receiver. And as you guys can see, I found it. I spawned one in. The next ship we will need is a get local player. So let's just spawn that one in as well. This next ship will require two of them. That is a two string. Following up with that, we will need a string format. String format. I forgot to get two of these, so I'm just going to clone it. Next ship we will need is an if player is local. Moving it down here, it's going off frame. And last but not least, we will need a player show subtitle. This is the most important ship. Also, I would recommend that you guys organize your chips because this can get messy. Alright, let's begin wiring. To start the wiring, make sure you go back to your tools and select connect. Now, you want to hover over the get local player and connect it to the value on the two string. Then, you want to connect results to the value on the string format. Going over to the string format, you want to wire results to the value on the other two string and then wire the results to the subtitle down on the player show subtitle. Coming over to the event receiver, you want to configure it and make it player joined. To do that, you want to open back up your maker pen, click on configure, press on it, open it back up, and then it should have this little drop down, it says event, click on that, and it should be right there, the third one, player joined. Click on that, and then it should say right there, player joined. So wiring the event receiver, you would want to wire the player the if player is local. You then want to wire the EXEC on the event receiver to the EXEC on the if player is local. Then coming over to here, you want to wire is local to the EXEC on player show subtitle. The last thing you want to wire is local player all the way over here to the event receivers. I have all the wiring done, but we have to configure some things. First, let's configure how long we want the player show subtitle to be. I want it to be um, like 7 seconds. So let's just click on the value and type in 7. Now as you can see it says duration 7. Now coming up to the string format, you want to configure the format and type in the message you want the players to see when they join. So for this tutorial I'm just going to say hey. And then there's this little trick if you click shift and then you click the curly bracket open and then type in zero and then curly bracket close this is telling the string format that we want it to say the local player's name so hey reaps vr or whoever joined the room this is an awesome tutorial like plus subscribe Woo. Now we have it saying that, hey, zero, this is an awesome tutorial, like, plus subscribe. But if you want to make sure the zero worked, you could come over to results. And as you can see, it says, hey, Reaps VR, because I'm the local player, as you can see. Hey, Reaps VR, this is an awesome tutorial, like, plus subscribe. So, yeah, this is basically it. So I'm going to test it out real quick. I'll go on my phone and have an alt account join. And let's see if it works. All right, let's see if this works. Mm, mm. All right, and click go now. And as you guys can see, it works right there with my alt account's name. So as you guys saw right there, it indeed did work. If you guys have any problems with that, make sure to just comment them and I'll get to you guys as fast as possible. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay active with the maker pen. Stay creative. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.